Hi there friends, things are really building up across the Middle East. There is a growing excitement in the Middle East right now as calls are going out for a rebuilt Jewish temple on the Temple Mount, thanks to the Abraham Accords of course. But the best part about this, it is the Muslims who are calling for the third temple. Can you believe that? Friends, the third temple the Antichrist will desecrate is now closer than ever, as Muslims now across the Middle East are warming to the idea of a third Jewish temple in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount. First of all, let's just drop back almost four years and see how things have progressed just over these last few years. You will remember, back in 2017, President Donald Trump acknowledged Jerusalem as Israel's eternal capital, something no other president has ever publicly done in history. In fact, a coin was produced showing Trump alongside the Persian king Cyrus, who encouraged the Jews two and a half thousand years ago to return from captivity in Babylon and build the temple in Jerusalem. The coin shows Trump and Cyrus on one side, and on the reverse there is a picture of the temple. When Israel celebrated 70 years of being back in the land in 2018, another coin was struck, once more showing Trump and Cyrus with the words, and he charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, meaning the temple. On the reverse is a picture of the temple with a dove and a branch of peace in its beak as it flies toward the temple. Around the rim is the inscription from Isaiah, like doves to their nests, meaning flying to the temple. In 2020, Trump and his team seemed to bring about the almost impossible, as following decades of hostility toward the Jewish state, one Arab nation after another began to make formal peace with Israel, signing the Abraham Accord. And that is continuing, that is ongoing even now. As I've said before, Saudi Arabia is now very friendly with Israel, although it has not made any official statement or signed the Accords. We do know that in November 2020, Prime Minister Netanyahu flew to Saudi Arabia on a private jet and spent five hours in very private talks with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Now let's come up to date. Just over a week ago, you may remember, I posted the news that a 10-story talking statue is being prepared and will be shown in 21 cities around the globe. As I understand it, that is 21 statues in 21 cities. It may just be one statue going to 21 cities, I'm not sure. There are various views as to whether it will be one statue or 21 statues. But remember this, the Bible speaks of a talking image of the Antichrist that will make its debut in the very last days before the Messiah returns. Now I'm not saying that this statue is the statue of the Antichrist, of course. But what I am saying is this technology for such a huge talking image is now available as never before in history. And as this technology is being displayed, at the same time, the global elite are calling for a worldwide cashless society. One that will fit very nicely with the prophesied mark of the beast in Revelation 13, due to come into force when Antichrist rules, when no man will be able to buy or sell unless he wears this mark. Again, this has never ever been witnessed in history before. Do you not see the dots are now being connected, friends? We really are in the end of the end times. Now let's come up to date, right up to date, for the latest 
and the plans for a temple just a few days ago. Just a few days ago on Twitter, the Saudi Arabians conducted a campaign promoting Islam's true holy sites, Mecca and Medina. And they actually downplayed the importance of Jerusalem and the Temple Mount in their religion. And also from the Israeli newspaper Israel Today, they stated one of the more viral tweets was posted by Saudi cartoonist Fahd al-Jabiri, who wrote this. He said, The direction of the prayers of the Jews is not important to us. What is important to us is only our homeland. And by referring to the direction of the prayers of the Jews, Al-Jabiri implicitly recognized the Jewish connection to the Temple Mount. Thus, he was contradicting the Palestinian narrative on that very matter. An English language tweet by a man from Morocco named Ib Tassam really got people heated when he not only emphasized that the Temple Mount is of no particular importance to Muslims like himself, but he then went on to express his hope that the third Jewish temple will soon be built there. You know, friends, we've never ever publicly heard an Arab wish for a third Jewish temple on the Temple Mount. Do you see how totally unprecedented these days are in which you and I live? Now, following that above tweet, there was a flood of tweets expressing support for this and even for love for Israel. Most were in Arabic, but a few in English were nonetheless heartwarming. One reacted to a previous tweet calling Jerusalem the occupied Palestinian capital. The Saudi writer corrected the original writer by noting that Jerusalem is actually the eternal capital of the Jewish people. Friends, that is an Arab stating Jerusalem is Jewish. Tom Nisani, who is the head of the Temple Heritage Foundation, told the Israeli newspaper Arutz 7, this is a golden opportunity. In the end, he said, it is becoming increasingly clear that the main obstacle, the Temple Mount, is now in our hands. This is a historic opportunity, he said, to expel the hostile waqf, that is the Jordanian oversight of the Temple Mount. They want to now expel the Jordanian oversight of the Temple Mount from the Temple Mount and transfer it to full Israeli management. He said that will allow full freedom of access and religion to the mountain in cooperation with the Emirates, the Saudi Arabians, and the Moroccans, and the Jews, and the non-Jews who will attain shared goals. Friends, there is a website called God's Holy Mountain Project and it has been placed on the internet by Jews and Muslims, particularly rabbis, who would like to see the temple built just north of the Dome of the Rock. So you wouldn't have to get rid of the Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount, but you build the temple next to the Dome of the Rock. Therefore, Muslims can come and pray, Jews can come and pray, all in a brotherhood of peace. Can't you see the Antichrist stepping forward? Friends, I want to ask you, are you ready for these days?